This video is being prepared to help you in installing your new Beltrop PNP system into an Aristocraft locomotive. In this instance, the locomotive chosen is an Aristocraft FA. This FA already has a Sierra soundboard installed in it with battery, but we will replace the battery as part of this process. Here you see the Aristocraft board with the PNP socket. First you must remove the dummy load for it before you can insert the Beltrol components. Now for the Beltrol components we have, we have the SSI 12V5 and the purpose of this is the interface to the Sierra soundboard replacing the battery. Next we have the uh, DECU unit and the receiver unit for the uh, RC. The receiver we've chosen is the Spectrum DX5E system, a five channel system. And then finally we have the actual interface board that plugs into the plug and play socket the BLT2 PNP board by RCS. And we'll go through the steps. You can see in the background of this the RCS wiring diagram which can be downloaded off of the RCS site. Now the first thing to be aware of on the back of the board you have two sets of pins. The size of one set of pins is slightly larger than the size of the other set of pins. When you look at the Aristo board, there is a slight difference in the two. Now, on one end, you'll have every pin consumed. On the other end, you will have only one pin that is left un unused off of the uh, uh, BLT2 board. As previously mentioned, the transmitter in this unit is going to be the Spectrum DX5E unit. It has both positionable controls for the speed, and then you have the up and down function for forward and reverse, and then you have the side to side functions for sound triggers. The first thing we'll need to do is bind the receiver unit that we looked at a moment ago to the uh, transmitter unit. So we'll go through those steps. I'm carefully aligning the pins on the big end and then the small end and gently pushing the board in place. Notice the alignment. Next, we'll have to connect wires between the uh, DECU and the, and the BTL2 boards. After the uh, two sets of cables are connected, choose a suitable place to, to uh, put the DECU board in the uh, chassis. Now we will hook up the temporary connection for binding the receiver. We'll use the supplied cable to plug one end in into the gear position of the receiver and into the second set of holes, the number two set of holes in the DECU. Notice that the orange wire is to the center of the receiver. Also we plug in to the bind battery plug the binding loop that should come with your receiver. Now you're ready to bind the receiver to the transmitter. Okay, the sequence for binding is first you turn on the power to the locomotive. You notice that the receiver unit is flashing rapidly. Now we pull the spring-loaded trainer switch forward and power up the unit.
the switch, the receiver slowed down its flashing, momentarily blinked off, and came on solid. Notice the headlights are on in the locomotive. Now I release the trainer stick and I have a solid on on the receiver. The lights are on in the locomotive. I must remove the binding plug before I turn off the receiver. At this point I'm ready to uh, place the receiver unit onto the DECU for its permanent installation. If you notice there are six pins for the DECU on the receiver there are a total of seven. The one you do not use is the battery bind set of pins. This now completes the installation of the RC unit. The remaining steps that we'll see will be concerned with hooking up the Sierra sound unit in this board. We'll do a simple uh, test run as our next step. When the power is turned on to the transmitter, notice that you get flashing of the green light on the board and the headlight, and then it comes on solid with movement of the joystick you get movement of the engine. Double sticky tape is used on the back of the boards to prevent any possible shorting. Okay, the board leads were hooked up and connected to the uh, Aristocrat sound and power takeoff. We're just about to have our first run with the uh, RCS Beltrol plug and play board in my Union Pacific FA. Here you see the battery car. So we'll put this down and we'll see what we can get going. Okay, I'm turning on the transmitter. Okay, you can hear the dynamic brake coming down that hill. Got a crossing coming up. Not real pleasant out here, so we're going to make this first test run a short one.